Hello everyone, welcome back. I want to link a video for you guys to watch by Jimmy Dore uh, with regards to bad police attitude and bad police training. Uh, now Jimmy Dore is like a hardcore leftist that I generally disagree with. I probably disagree with about 95% of the things that he normally says. However, in this video, I probably agree with about 95% of the things that he's saying. Um, and um, I, I think this video is well worth watching. Um, and as you're watching this video, you're going to see footage of, of police um, and and basically police acting the way that they've been trained to act. Because now it's not just one cop or two cops. Now it's a lot of cops uh, all working together uh, the way that they have been trained. Um, and uh, you know what you're going to see. You, you're going to see some things that that I think that you know will highlight. The problems. Um, the first problem with, with police is the attitude. Okay, they have a bad attitude, and the second problem is the training that they get. Okay, now between the two, the attitude is is more important versus the training. Because even if you have good training, but you get but you have a bad attitude, um, you know you're going to misapply that that good police training. So, but here's a case of bad attitude plus bad police training uh which really compounds the situation into into a disaster okay um so what's the police attitude well i know as a range safety officer i've i've i've, I've heard it i've observed it uh, over the years at different gun ranges um you know just interacting with police as a, as a range safety officer um if the attitude of police uh first of all is the uh you know them versus us okay so so police see themselves kind of like as a class Okay, you know, they're separate from the politicians above them, uh, separate from the civilians below them. Um, and, you know, they so, so they have this fraternity, right? They even have the fraternal order of police. Um, so they see themselves as separate from the rest of society. Um, so, so that's the first problem. Okay, and, uh, you know, one of the things that you will hear repeatedly in police circles is the officer must go home okay what does that mean the officer must go home well what that means right and what it reinforces um, is that the police officer's life is more important uh, than the civilians life okay um, you know in my opinion if you're gonna become a police officer right um, where your job is to serve and protect okay the civilians life is more important than your life okay that, that's just the nature of the job and if you don't want to do the job don't do the job don't become a police officer you know it's just like if you're gonna be a fireman if you're a fireman your job is to go into burning buildings and save lives and property and if you don't feel comfortable doing that if you don't like taking that risk um, uh, don't become a fireman okay so if you're gonna become a police officer your job is to put other people's uh, safety before your own safety and that means hesitating okay um, you know one of the things that police are taught is no hesitation training uh, they're taught that you know if you hesitate to draw your gun and fire you're gonna die okay well you know what it is you know one of the things that I have always taught people right uh, you know that I, that I have trained is that it is better for you to die rather than for you to shoot the wrong person okay so and this applies to me personally you know, I would rather take a chance and, and, and you know, be a little bit slower, right, you know, and, and, and risk me getting killed rather than risk killing the wrong person, okay? So that has to become the new attitude of police, um, you know, because as of right now, police officers, you know, their, their attitude is that, that, you know, it's most important that they stay alive, that they go home. And they are willing to risk other people's lives. So, so that's the first thing that has to change. The second thing that has to change is the training. And again, over the years, um, uh, I've I've watched uh, police officers at the range as a range safety officer. You know, most of them when they draw out of the holster, their fingers on that trigger, which means if they if they if they get scared and they twitch, they're gonna fire that gun. Okay. You know, when I train people, when I train civilians, you know, I teach them. You know, you draw your gun, fingers off the trigger, get your sights on target, and then you decide if you need to shoot. And if it's, you know, if, if, if that means being a little bit slower, so be it. Again, it's more important that you not kill the wrong person, okay? Um, so, the, you know, now here's the thing. Here's a solution, right? Because in this video that I'm linking, you know, he, he points out all the problems, right? All the problems of police attitude. He points out the problems of police training, but he doesn't offer a solution. You know, I do have a solution, okay? Because... Um, you know, I've lived in cities and I've also lived in the country, okay, and, you know, in the country we generally have sheriffs 
uh, who are elected officials, right? They're elected, and the sheriffs are directly accountable to the people, right? And if they don't do a good job, next election they get tossed out of their, you know, they get tossed out of their job. Uh, in cities, the you know, departments are run by police chiefs who are appointed by mayors. Um, so, so the police chiefs are not directly accountable to the people. Um, so what, what that means is, you know, the, you know, one of the biggest concerns of mayors uh, is financing. Okay, so, so they, they basically use the police as taxing agents. They want them to go out, write as many tickets as they can, you know, make the type of the, uh, type of arrests that are going to generate revenue. Okay, um, so the mayors are using the police uh, as taxing agents, and their training uh, is more geared to that. You know, police get more training on how to write tickets, you know, than on how to, uh, you know, you know, safely arrest people. Okay, um, now if you change that, okay, if you make all police chiefs and all departments directly elected by the people in that precinct uh the uh the priorities of the police chiefs are going to change okay all of a sudden they're going to be less concerned with writing tickets to generate money for the mayor and they're going to be more concerned with actually serving and protecting the community and the training is going to change okay so so again uh, watch this video um you know he's about 95 percent right you know he's, there's a couple of things that he's got really wrong one of the things that he's got really wrong is that he thinks that uh conservatives or constitutionalists that we some, for some reason support the police you know going around and hurting people when in fact when i you know when i look at those police you know i look at them and i say okay those are the cops the ones that are that are beating people up in the streets those are the cops that are going to come uh, to take away my guns and kill me in the middle of the night. Okay, uh, those are the cops. Those are the police that are going to violate their oath to the Constitution. You know, and when they're told, okay, go go start gathering. You know, start invading people's homes uh, and and taking their property away. Those cops in this video, those are the ones that they're going to send, and those are the ones that are going to do what they're told to do because you know they you know that's that's what they enjoy doing. They enjoy enforcing their you know you know they they enjoy. Uh, forcing their will upon people uh, and forcing them into compliance okay um, so anyway watch this video it's by Jimmy Dore he's a hardcore leftist I disagree with like 95% of the stuff that he normally says but in this video he's about 95% right not 100% right about 95% right uh, and yes he's very mistaken when he thinks that 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 conservatives support what police are doing okay? when, when, I, when we look at police we're like okay those are the guys that they're going to send after us and they're not coming to beat us up they're just coming they're going to break into our house and they're just going to kill us okay so um yeah uh watch the video uh, post some comments in the comment section uh share it around this is a video that's definitely worth seeing um and if you like the, this video my video give it a thumbs up share it uh and if you're not a member of my channel subscribe i'll see you guys next time